Good afternoon everybody. Thank you for joining me. My name is Neil and I'm a BIM consultant at Catassist and today I'll be giving you a quick overview of BIM 360 Docs. This shouldn't last more than 15 minutes and then we will take some questions. If you don't have any questions you can use the function on your screen. Um, alternatively I will be giving you my email address on the last slide as well so if you want to drop me an email you are more than welcome okay so there are three factors in play that are changing how document control is handled in today's construction projects the first is overwhelming pressure to produce volumes of documents manage versions and release accurate information to the field this has the added complexity with adoption of BIM and requirement for sharing model based design. Second is mobile technologies increase demand for instant access to the latest available information. Versioning is happening in real time and there is a need for instant coordination. The third is compliance and legal requirements for a single data repository for entire projects such as BIM level 2. The document control manager is no longer a one person job. Document control is now democratized and requires a collaborative effort. So as document control has become more democratized and a collaborative effort, a number of technologies have emerged to help construction project teams maintain a single source of truth for project documents. Cloud based Collaboration and file sharing tools provide anytime, anywhere access to digital documents, both in the office and in the field. PDF creation and editing softwares are utilized for markups, edits, and merging and splitting of files. Field-based mobile apps reduce the time spent, yet an input from the field shared with the larger project team. This information becomes stagnated and difficult to coordinate with other crucial information from within the project. Accessing the data and publishing can become frustrating and tedious. The first issue is applications have very specific purposes. Cloud-based collaboration tools are built to share files across multiple parties. PDF editing tools are built to create and modify PDF drawings and documents. Field apps are built to manage photos, markup drawings, and manage issues. Plan viewers, model viewers, project administration tools, it goes on and on. Second issue is when documents, plans, models are accessed, modified, shared within an application, they remain in that application, resulting in no single source of truth, out of date versions, incorrect communication to subs and trades, many questions around what's current and this all results in errors and rework. With so many documents and revisions of those documents, version control does cause a lot of delays, cost overruns and rework. What's been 360 Docs has been built to solve these document management problems. It helps to ensure that the entire construction project team is building from the correct version of documents and plans. Tailored for the needs of the AEC industry, BIM 360 Docs delivers tools for publishing, managing, reviewing and approving all project plans, models and documents from the earliest phase of a project through to owner occupancy. A cloud-based service accessible at the desktop or mobile devices, BIM 360 Docs delivers anywhere, anytime, collaborative access to the entire project team. BIM 360 Docs offers a whole range of capabilities across the four key areas of document management, publishing, sharing, viewing, and modifying. It provides industry-specific capabilities for managing all 2D plans, 3D models and other project documents. So it has automatic naming and structuring, role-based access control, workflows for approval processes, can seamlessly be integrated with authoring apps and existing cloud and local file systems, and that it supports 
virtually all AEC 2D and 3D file and data formats in the cloud. And it is tightly integrated with Autodesk AutoCAD and Autodesk Revit. Delivers anywhere, anytime collaboration access to the whole project team with web and mobile access to all project plans, models and documents with no software download required. It's got collaborative viewing, markup and issue management tools. It ensures that all project teams are building from the correct document versions. Registry views provide visibility into version changes over the course of the project. Cloud repository and mobile access give all team members access to the correct set of data at all times. <coughs> Publishing documents is made easier by automating common and repeatable tasks. It can extract sheets from Revit models. It has OCR or optical character recognition of title blocks to automate the naming process. And there is also a logical construction specific organization in a single repository. BIM 360 Docs can also aid sharing documents by ensuring that the right people have access to the right information. You can track and maintain versions to help identify changes or roll back to an earlier point in time. Controlling the release of information has always been tricky, but with BIM 360 Docs you can do this through permissions and access rights. You can also assign permissions at user role or company level. Viewing documents can be done easily whether you're at your desk or knee deep in mud on site. You can view in 2D or 3D and you can also access the properties of the 3D models as well. BIM 360 Docs is compatible with iPhones and iPads as well as Androids. Creating and managing markups is also easy within BIM 360 Docs through the use of 2D and 3D markup tools that can be controlled across versions. These tools also include collaborative viewing with thumbnail views for quick review and approval. By having a single source of truth, you can have confidence that everyone is working for the latest documents. BIM 360 Docs can literally put everyone on the same page. It doesn't matter what discipline or that the architect's saying one thing but the contractor saying another. By having a live environment where everyone is synced together, many of your current issues can be resolved. Another huge bonus is that BIM 360 Docs was actually built and designed specifically for construction projects. The project is at the center and you can keep track of everything from design through to the handover. A common question when considering BIM 360 Docs is where does it sit with BIM 360 Team? BIM 360 Team is your company's data management and collaboration tool. Each company involved in a project may use BIM 360 Team for their own day-to-day -day needs of the project. When the information is ready to be shared to other parties, it can be placed in a central location, which is BIM 360 Docs. So, what's the difference between BIM 360 Docs and BIM 360 Team? So, some of the key differentiators in Docs. You have restricted project access by company and role. You can restrict folder level access by user company role. You have cross project reporting. Automatically extract sheets from DWG files and multi-page PDFs. Automatically extract sheets from Revit files. PDF title block extraction. We we'll also have 2D document comparison. You can change the status of markups. You can attach documents to a markup. You can assign issues to users, roles, or companies. You can assign due dates to issues. And create and manage RFIs, or requests for information. There are a whole host of other different features. I didn't want to go through page after page of those, but these are some of the key ones that stand out. 
So, how much does all of this cost? So a single user can be from £320 a year. A 25 user pack is at £2,785 a year. A 100 user pack is £6,695 a year. That gives you unlimited data for unlimited projects and it also gets you advanced support from Autodesk. And again, like most Autodesk software, you will be able to take out your own 30-day free trial. So if you go to www.bim360.com forward slash docs, you can start a free trial there. And also, again, if you do decide to continue on with this, we can get your data transferred across onto a paid account. Okay, just going to quickly check, see if there's any questions. I know from this morning, a lot of people prefer to send me emails after. Yeah, which I think is going to be the same thing again. So what I'm going to do is pop on the, the next slide here. And then if you want to take my email address, if you do have any questions relating to docs, um, or maybe you want to download the trial and then have a quick navigate around the interface with me. That's not a problem at all. Um, I will be looking to do some more webinars in the future. They'll probably be more technical based around team and around docs. Um, so that we'll be sure to let you know when those kick off. So if you do have any questions, please, please, please let me know. Thank you for joining me. I'll speak to you soon.